Hi, I'm going to show you how to enter your mileage if you're traveling um, from your main workstation to a alternative workstation, or if you're traveling for a conference, what have you. So when you open CTC link, you're going to go to financial self-service. After that page loads, you're going to go to the upper right hand corner and that's going to open up this little um, compass navigation bar. Go to menu. Employee self-service. You're going to go to travel expenses. Expense report. And create or modify. All right, your employee ID number should come up here, so you're going to go ahead and hit add. Boop. All right, when it comes to business purpose, you can just put miscellaneous if you're traveling in between places. If you're going to a conference or some workshop for professional development, make sure you put that in. But since we're just traveling in between campuses, we can put miscellaneous. <clears throat> for report description, you can put in whatever you're going to remember. So if I travel between my main campus of Bremerton to Oslo, I can put that in. For the default location, this is going to be where your default workstation is. So I'm going to put Bremerton. It'll automatically populate that for me. Okay, then you're going to insert the date that you traveled. So let's say that I traveled on Monday. I'm going to put 92324. For expense type, when you're doing mileage, you're actually going to go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to put transportation mileage. For description, I'm going to put Bremerton to Palsbo. For payment type, since I paid this with my own card and I want the um, I want the college to reimburse me, I'm going to put employee. Private auto, since I use my own private automobile. And then I put in the miles that I went from Bremerton to Palsbo. I don't know how many miles it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and put 7.6. Okay, so when I enter that in, it'll automatically populate all of the amounts for me. Now, <clears throat> when you are finished with this, if you are all done and you only made this trip once, you would hit summary and submit. If you have made multiple trips, then what you can do is that you can go up to choose action, copy expense lines. And when you do that, what you can do is that you can select the one that you want to copy and you can either do it by date. So let's say that I made the same trip on the 26th or you can do a range of dates. So if you made this trip over and over again between two specific dates, you can enter that. Oh, right, I can't go into the future. I can try. All right, so once I hit that, it's gonna auto-populate that for me. This is also super useful if you're doing um, travel or a conference, and let's say that you wanted to do meals and you ate every single day, then you could just have it copy and paste for the meals that you ate, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all that good stuff. So remember, after you're done, you can either save it for later if there's more things that you want to add, or can you, you can hit summary and submit. Remember, this isn't going to submit until you hit this box and hit submit expense reports. Don't forget, if you have any questions at all, just to reach out to any of us in admin, either your dean or our um, travel expert.